What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today we have ourselves 10 packs straight of uh, Footy Stars 2022, the latest release of the season. Uh, hopefully this is being uploaded uh, either around or towards the start of the new team coach cards. Uh, I have no clue just exactly what we are getting from that just yet. However, I am very excited to open up these packs as Footy Stars 2022 at the time of recording is still relatively new. We've got 10 packs here sent directly from Select themselves. This is not like me picking up cards from a servo. They're honestly quite hard to find at the time of recording this. They're really, really hard to find. But nonetheless, we've got Footy Stars 2022 right here, ready to open 10 packs straight from Select. So honestly, the, the odds could be anything. They could be good chances they're all straight from a box. So I wouldn't imagine anything too crazy. However, knowing that there's 36 packs in every box, only getting 10 packs may or may not be a mistake, but with four potential box hits up for grabs, there is a very good chance that we see something really, really nice here. We've got ourselves, um, obviously the Brownlow uh, predictor that you guys would have seen in the box break we did a while ago. Um, I'll, I'll, again, the Spectrum Redemption, one in every six boxes, so chance for that even, but 10 packs, Hopefully, we can strike some gold somewhere. Maybe we can find something. Who knows? But uh, 10 packs. You can't knock it until you try. So hopefully, some big stuff here. I'm hoping for that. Anyways, we've got ourselves a Hugh McCluggage here to start. We've got Gary Rowan, Madison Presparkus, Adam Chalor, And our first insert is going to be a Shane McAdam paint starburst. So, pretty natural start for our packs. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, we got Tom McDonald, all this extra stuff as well. I hate seeing this because it always tells me it's either this, it's either an Arctic Blue Fractured or a um, Instant Wind Chance. So if it's neat, if it's none of them, it just makes me sad. <laughs> but back number two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Select um, Footy Stars 2022 release as much as I did. Uh, this has all been so much fun. You guys have been nothing but supportive over the entire time and I'm really, really happy that's been the case because it just keeps me motivated to do more and more with the channel. And obviously with Team Coach season coming around, round one is going to be a lot of fun. So we've got Paddy Dangerfield to start here, Jeremy McGovern, Jack Martin, uh, Kate Luckins here, and we've also got ourselves another Starburst paint, Jed View. So, two one per fours, not the greatest start. At the very least, we've still got eight packs to change that all up, so hopefully some really, really nice stuff still on the way here. But yeah, the support and all the love for the new uh, footy stars and team coach season is always going to keep me motivated to keep going. So we've got Ellie Blackburn to start here, Jake Stringer, Harris Andrews, uh, Ben Keys, and we've got ourselves a forward 50 star powers. Tex Walker. Not a bad one. It's a new one. We'll take it. Um, yeah, so a lot to be excited about. Obviously, the new hits. Hopefully, we get something here to kind of showcase out a lot of really, really exciting stuff to come in the future as well. Uh, I've just gotten used to opening packs a lot faster as of late. So, I'm already on to pack number four. So, I'm trying to slow myself down so I can actually properly talk to you guys. You guys actually get to know me a little bit more. But, uh, you know, apparently packs are just that important to me. <laughs> we got James Rowe, Oscar McInerney, Callum Mills. Dusty, nice pull, and we got ourselves, looks like a milestone game, we've got Sam Reed, 100 games, nice work mate, but I think these are one in every nine, so they're kind of on track, but the cards we're probably expected to get, that one, um, anything pretty much over milestones, I'm pretty sure, let me double check that, uh, we, we take a look here, anything over milestone is, uh, is a good pull. Um, we had some cards, I believe, that were... Uh, we had the competition cards last year that were like one in every 16 packs, but I don't think they're nearly as good as they are this year, because everyone gets a go. Um, no one's going to be feeling left out. I'd hope so, at least. <laughs> I really hope so. We've got Tim English here, Cam Guthrie, Harry Mackay. Mmm, I just saw the name, but yes, we got ourselves a box hit. Nice! With four box hits, you'd hope you'd get one out of ten packs. But, thankfully, we did manage to get one. It is a classified uh, Melbourne Jake Cleaver, number 37. And then a purple four behind it, Hugh McCluggage. I love a double insert pack. Gotta love them. Number 37, Jake Lever. That's a big pull. That's a really, really nice one. I'm super happy with that. But, classified. Number 37. What number are you? 
70. Oh, you've still got a 7 in there, but you're not the number I wanted, man. Yeah, I think I found... With the classified... I really, really like the... I like all the box hits this year, to be fair, but the classified really stands out to me because there's three different numbers you can chase with this. You've got, obviously, the jumper number and the 001, but you've also got the classified number now with classified, so three numbers to look out for, three chances of uh, hitting big with them, but at the same time, obviously, very, very difficult to do so, and just getting the hit in general is enough to make you happy so hopefully i can use him or use other um cards in general because i've got three different classified cards two of them are richmond and one of them are melbourne so like i feel like i'm ruining myself if i don't wait until i get like a gws player because those those ones look like they have some proper value to them so hopefully we can hold out a bit on that but we got dane rampy here nick Lawson, andrew gaff uh, Ali Anderson, and we got purple foil Tom McDonald. I love the purple foils this year. I love all the base set variants this year. They've got four different variants for base set this year, if you didn't already know, but I'd imagine you do. Um, four different base sets is still just one of the better ideas. It means there's more to collect, uh, more to enjoy, even if you are pulling just regular cards. Um, obviously, you've got the insert sets as well, but I think what they've done with the uh, foils and the parallels and all that is really really nice i like i like that idea but this is our sixth pack or seventh pack i think it's our seventh pack nonetheless still having fun with it lots of good stuff hopefully ahead i'm praying for that at the, at the very least oh and it looks like we did oh man we're getting some really really good luck here we got ourselves aaron phillips mitch robinson zach tui and i believe no it isn't that's all good here it is box hit I'm going to go from the top so we can recognize the head first. Keep pulling it down, pulling it down. Arctic Blue Fractured. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Max Seagorn. Okay. Okay. That's a big pull. That is a big pull. The Premiership Captain. We'll take that for sure. And the, f and the extra one is Milestones Will Hoskin Elliott. That's a nice little insert to add on to. But wow, two box hits. Two box hits. That's massive. We'll take that for sure. The shine and the light is really good. I'll try and find the perfect angle, but you can see there. Look at all the shine happening there. That's beautiful. Getting it close to a the light. There's the perfect angle. Close to a light has always been where this shine really starts to sparkle. Looks so much better. But the number is 118. Nothing special about it, unfortunately. Unless they had somehow miraculously managed to go on a 118-year drought before winning their premiership, which thankfully for them wasn't the case. But nonetheless, there's Maxi Gorm. Two Melbourne boxes, I've just realized, by the way. That's pretty nuts. That is pretty crazy. Can we make it three for ten boxes? That'd be cut. That'd be a decent ratio. I'd be okay with that. I'd be pretty okay with that for sure. Starting this off with a Josh Bruce. Got ourselves Tim Kelly. Jared Lyons. Amy McDonald. Doesn't look like a box hit here. It's going to be Liam Jones. Purple foil. Add him to the collection. More than happy to make um, some room for some purple parallels if I can make sure that they're not duplicates. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. We love to see that. Uh, second last pack, though. Hopefully, you guys have found this entertaining. Two box hits is always good. Can't go wrong with two box hits. Um, but this is more... This is closer to the regular style of um, footy card openings that you are going to be seeing from the channel. If you do... If you are new here and decide to subscribe, this is what you usually get. More stuff like this. But nonetheless, um, this is closer to what we regularly do. Obviously, as it's the start of the footy star season... I really want to get things going. So that's why I've seen a lot more box hits in that. But now we're starting to slowly move into the, just the regular packs and stuff like that. But Shea Bolton, we've got Mason Redmond, Tom Buckley, and there, yeah, I thought so. It is going to be Josh Kelly, 150 games. I thought for some reason that had some extra shine to it. I'm like, what is that? That looks really, really interesting. But last chance. Can we clutch it up with a Virtuoso? We'll have to find out. Uh, odds are now one in every 600 for the major hit which for this season is the Virtuoso. So, hopefully. Come on. Be good to me. Give me at least something. Give me something big. Give me a box hit. Give me at least a box hit, please. I would really, really appreciate that. These packs, as they've got to the end, have just started crumbling in my hands, which is always good, isn't it? Last one. Let's see what we can do. We've got Dylan Shield. Luke Parker. Uh, Chelsea Randall. Paddy Grits. And it is a purple foil Shannon Hearn. Not finishing off with a box hit. However... Cannot be mad with the box hits we did get. That was a pretty, pretty good pack opening for sure. Helping out a lot with the base set, as my actual, as my commons base set is falling all over the place. This is an absolute pain, but nonetheless, 
Two biggest ones to worry about are the two Melbourne pulls we managed to get. We got Classified, Jake Lever, and we got ourselves a Arctic Blue Fraction, Max Gorn. Two massive pulls, both numbered 118 and 70, respectively. Massive, massive, massive stuff from 10 packs of footy stars. That's what I'm really excited about for the new footy star season, is that there's more chances for videos to have these big hits and have these massive pulls. So I'm really hoping that this stuff will keep you guys interested in uh, watching future videos because it's just a lot of fun to do. It's just a hell of a lot of fun. Um, if I can, I'll try and make most of the videos just 10 random packs I find out in um, servos or um, shopping centers or whatever it may be, wherever I may find them. I'm trying my best to um, make them you know, more random and less predictable. So hopefully this will kind of give you an idea. These were 10 random packs from Select and we managed to get two of the box hits from whatever box they pulled it out of. So nice stuff there. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you all for another massive pack opening, very hopefully. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.